you may be under the impression that all of these principles of optimization and that we are developing and all of the models in economics that we will start in this course only apply for market behavior, how much to buy or how much to supply in a market. I want to dispel that notion once and for all and illustrate the very wide scope in econom of economics with the next practice problem that is going to show you how to apply these principles of, of optimization to things that are very relevant to your daily life and have nothing to do with the market. So to do this, consider a very practical problem that we many of us face, which is how much to exercise. And here is a simple version of the problem. Suppose that you have been reading the literature on the exercise physiology and the benefits of health, and you have concluded that the following function, B of E, where E denotes how much you exercise in hours, can be measured in dollars as a function A, the log of E plus 1 where A is a constant greater than zero that modulates the benefits of exercise. And for you, you have, after a lot of introspection, determined that the cost of exercise is equal to W plus D times E, where W is your hourly wage, wage rate, which means if you are exercising for an hour, you're not earning money, and capital D is your distate for exercise. How much do you dislike an hour of exercise measured in dollars? So we're also going to assume W and D is greater than zero. And for the purpose of the example, we're also going to assume that A is going to be greater than W plus D. And you will, say, you will see in a second why we impose this assumption. Now, the question that I want you to answer is, what happens to the optimal level of exercise, which we are going to denote by E star, when the key parameters of the problem, which are A, W, and D, double? 